Have you ever heard a better sound on the basketball court than the ball swishing through the net? My name is Robert Ockenfuss, former East Hampton High School and Wilkes College basketball player and coach at Penridge High School in Perkasy, Pennsylvania. I'm the author of a new instructional basketball shooting book entitled Quest for the Net. At this point, I encourage you to watch the video from beginning to end. You really owe it to yourself to see the entire preview, explore all of its instructional contents. If you think Quest for the Net will help improve your basketball shooting, please give both the video and the book a like. This video focuses entirely on the four chapter cerebral approach mastery section of the book that breaks down and separately discusses each of the individual mental elements necessary to successfully shoot a basketball. So, let's get started. At this point, you might ask, why should I buy and read this book? How can it possibly help me as a player? Of course, I am assuming that you have both the desire and passion to become a great shooter. In this regard, let me ask you several very important and key questions about your rate of success in shooting the basketball. Are you consistent in being able to shoot the ball into the basket time after time? Is your method reliable, and are your shooting statistics from both the free throw line and the floor top notch? Are you able to maintain a high shooting percentage when you either must or are forced to move away from the basket and need to be able to knock down mid-range and three-point shots? Are you able to accurately describe your shooting motion? Do you shoot well under the pressure of game conditions? When you do miss a shot, are you able to figure out why you did so? During a game, are you currently able to correct mistakes and make in-game adjustments on your own? Have you been able to reach your full potential by becoming a decidedly more complete and versatile player? Have you been able to develop an inside game near the basket with at least five different moves? Have you considered that there are both physical and mental elements involved in shooting the basketball? If your answer to any of these questions is no, then shouldn't it be high time to make needed changes and or adjustments in order to advance your shooting success? It is my sincere belief that anyone who possesses a decent amount of athletic ability can master these skills and the mindset to shoot the basketball extremely well. With attention to the basic details, correct mechanics, a positive mental outlook, and the application of hard work, you too will be able to learn to shoot a basketball extremely well. This book represents my attempt to gather everything I've learned about shooting the basketball as both a player and as a coach over the past 50 plus years, arrange it into a concise package, and to share this information with you. As stated on the cover of the book, Quest for the Net lists 10 separate elements that once learned, mastered, and combined together will help transform a player into a consistently excellent shooter. It's my opinion that these instructional elements can be divided into two separate sections, the physical and the mental. Physical approach chapters first break down and separately explain each of the individual physical mechanics or ingredients necessary for success. Once this has been accomplished, the player will then be shown how to blend all the elements together to create a harmonious, unified whole. This effort requires going through a process which, hopefully, players will enjoy, especially once they experience improvement. In the end, each of the separate parts must fit together seamlessly like those in a completed jigsaw puzzle. You will discover that the physical and mental parts will become intertwined and feed off of each other. Working on five elements and leaving out one will be damaging. Paying attention to and incorporating each and every one of the physical ingredients will maximize the player's opportunity to become a great shooter. Why settle for just being good when you could be great? Why not be willing to make some needed changes in order to improve your performance? If there is one thing I have learned over the years, it is that great shooters are not born into greatness. My thought that is great shooters are made through attention to the proper basics and continued effort. Remember, in considering change and personal growth, Albert Einstein defined insanity 
as doing the same thing over and over again while expecting different results. If you're a poor shooter, keep in mind that statistics don't lie. There are reasons for being a poor shooter. Why not seek a different approach? In coaching and playing game-winning basketball, should you need any further convincing concerning the need to develop great shooting, Chapter 1 focuses on the sharing of interesting statistical information that ties together the importance of intelligent, team-oriented defense and quality free-throw shooting. Two case studies are cited. The first scenario encompasses all 63 games of the 2019 NCAA Division I Men's National Championship Tournament that was won by the University of Virginia. The second scenario examines free throw statistics from the 2019 NBA Finals between the Toronto Raptors and the Golden State Warriors. I think you will find these results interesting, enlightening, and supportive of what I am attempting to teach. Cerebral approach mastery comes next. It is crucial to understand that the physical and mental parts of the game are inseparable. One influences the other. Together, the next several chapters contain my thoughts concerning the mental approach involved in shooting. Four separate elements are discussed. This interrelated information allows the player to push the above mentioned shooting mechanics to the next level of achievement. You might argue that completing these cerebral actions is unnecessary, but I can assure you they are essential. Simulation of game conditions, the subject of chapter 10, will help the player to bridge the performance gap between practice and competitive game situations. Many drills are discussed here, as well as the importance of team scrimmaging. The establishment of a personalized pre-shot routine covered in Chapter 11, is a step-by-step -step process that will help transform a static situation into a reactive one, reduce stress, and help the player eliminate and or block outside distractions. The player becomes free to focus entirely on the task of shooting the basketball. To be most effective, it needs to be personalized by the player. Rehearsal of a free throw, the topic of Chapter 12, allows the player to have a last-minute psychological practice of the shot from start to finish before the actual attempt. This is akin to taking a practice swing in golf. Visualization is a positive mental imagery approach that aids an athlete toward the successful completion of body motions. This element, the subject of Chapter 13, helps a player to make shots when it counts and is a must read if you want to reach your full potential and become a better shooter. A guided imagery visualization is provided as an example in chapter 14. As with the pre-shot routine, it would be most effective and meaningful if each player would create his own personal visualization. Chapter 15 contains a section on biddy basketball and why at an early age it is exceedingly important to learn the basic fundamentals on a scaled down court. This can be accomplished by the use of a rim that is of an age and strength appropriate height and a ball that is sized and weighted appropriately to the player's hand size and overall physical development. Chapter 15 also highlights 10 common shooting technique flaws that lead to shooting inaccuracy and a lack of consistency. The idea is to get the player to move away from these mistakes and progress in the right direction toward the correct shooting elements. They will be able to receive and learn the correct information needed to promote success. In this manner, right from the very beginning, an attentive young player will be able to get off to a solid start. Concluding Chapter 16 covers drills the player can immediately begin to work on refining and reinforcing the shooting elements they have learned. Adding the five offensive moves around the basket that are explained here will help the player to become a very complete, competent, and dangerous scorer. With effort, practice, and a great attitude, the player's performance can then reach an appropriate competitive game level. Another video in this series describes the remaining contents of Quest for the Net. 
there is a six chapter physical approach section that breaks down and separately explains each of the individual physical elements necessary to successfully shoot a basketball. A discussion of these elements includes the roles of the shooting and non-shooting hands, how a player should properly position his body so that he can shoot the ball straight toward the rim, how the player is able to generate power so as to increase shooting range, the importance of creating just the right release angle and arc trajectory, and finally the importance of target consciousness. After the player has developed an understanding of each of these six elements, the idea is to blend them together into a harmonious whole similar to that of a completed jigsaw puzzle. So, after viewing this video, which basketball shooting suggestion do you think you would want to work on first? Please let me know by leaving a comment below. I'm not a celebrity or well-known coaching figure. However, I guarantee that you simply cannot go wrong by purchasing, reading, and benefiting from the contents of Quest for the Net. The ball is in your court. Thanks for watching.